I have a Google Pixel 4a here. I'm going to show you how to use the split screen feature. Basically, it's a multitasking feature where you'll be able to use two apps side by side. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and give you a bunch of examples so you know exactly what's going on. So first thing is this. Let's go ahead and open up the split screen view. So for example, let's say we want uh, Google Chrome and YouTube, all right? So if I click on Google Chrome here, you just have to make sure the window is open. Now we can just go ahead and close it. Now it's running in the background. Now we have to go into the Recents app menu. If you just go down to your phone and just hold down here and scroll about halfway until this page here comes out. Now let go. Now these are all of your apps that are running in the background. That last one I opened up Chrome is right here on, on the top. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pick one of these. So if you want a Chrome, you would just press and hold. And then you would go down here where it says split screen. Once you tap on split screen, it's gonna bring it up top and that's gonna be a top. And then the second one you choose is gonna be on the bottom. So for example, like let's just, uh, let's just say that we wanted to go ahead and uh, bring up the Play Store in the other window. So don't tap up here for the second window. You just wanna tap on here, tap on there, and there we go. So now we got the two windows on there. Now, let me show you something else really quickly as well. So, so let's say again, one of the browsers we know is gonna be, we, I mean, uh, one of the apps that we wanna use is Google Chrome. So let me just open up Google Chrome again, and then I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Now, remember, we're gonna do the split screen view now. So go down to the bottom here, go about halfway to this page, slides over it and let go. And now from here, we can go ahead and choose another app, okay? Now the thing is, it doesn't have to be an app that's in here. Okay, it can even be an icon. So for example, let's do this. So the top, the top piece is a uh, top part we want Google Chrome. So press and hold, and then we're gonna choose split screen. Okay, now we can, I mean, we can choose any one of these recently um, open apps, apps that are running in the background, or we can even go down here. We can click on YouTube, uh, the settings. We can even swipe up. We can choose any one of these as well. It'll open up on the um, bottom half. So for example, let's just open up YouTube right here. And there you go. And now if I go ahead and turn it over, you need to have ro uh, auto rotate on for it to be able to rotate. So you can see here, I have a YouTube video here. Oh, no, I'm gonna do this example here. This so I can go ahead and let this run. I can go ahead and I can be on Amazon. I can be buying stuff on there. On the other side, you can even have an email application. You can be uh, reading and replying to emails and comments. You can also do this as well. If we go ahead and turn this over, now you have this divider here. You can make one side a little bit larger than the other as well. You can lift that up. You can see that divider, lift it down here. You can go ahead and read more of that up there. You can go ahead and bring this back up like this. Uh, also really quickly, if you have like a YouTube video open, I mean, what you can always do too is you see the little down arrow. Even if you turn it like this, you're still gonna see the, uh, the down arrow. If I tap on here, you can see the down arrow. So if you tap on that, oops, down here, now you have the video running down here and now you're able to find another video or whatnot. And if you wanna bring the video back to enlarge it, you can just go ahead and swipe up like that. Now in order to go ahead and uh, close these windows, for example, if I wanted only the YouTube page to be on here and you want to close out the browser, you can just go ahead and swipe all the way up like that. Or if you want only the browser, you can just swipe all the way down like that and now it's only gonna be the browser, so pretty simple. It's one of the uh, best features, I think, uh, for this phone. One of the reasons why I'll choose this over an iPhone. Good luck, guys.